Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. All right. We are continuing episode four. Uh, oh, there's uh, Mr. Jefferson. I would like to talk to him, actually. That'd be nice. It's like it's pretty active. There's, uh, what's his name again? Daniel, I think. Hey, hey Max. you. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yo. Chloe. <laughs> Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. <laughs> Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled thing. I wish we could have put in a photo. And I take hope in the fact photo. that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. <laughs> Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Yeah, I think Chloe... Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. I think Chloe might be bisexual. Uh, that's... The more I learn about her, the more that's what I think. Uh, I wish we could go in here. so loaded the other night here. Let's look around. Oh shit, sorry. Uh, let's look around. Talk to people. Can't talk to him. Can we talk to Zach? No. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. This photo. One photo for posterity. Okay, where did these rocks come from? This is too Blair Witch for me. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, that's weird. I don't think the Tobango will ever give up any secrets to us. I feel like I have an eyelash in my eye. Okay. What else? What else? What else? There's that squirrel again. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? No. Oh, what? Wait. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean by that, Max? That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Excuse me, bitch. I really don't like her. I'm sorry. She's a bitch. She really is. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. I don't give a shit. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Um... The last time... I didn't record it, but I talked to her about her drone, and she was a total bitch. But 
I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? Yeah. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. She's such a so bitch. I said Warren asked Max to the drive. Talk to you later, Max. Oh my god. It's so ironic that- Shut the fuck up. She is a bitch. Like that Warren asked Max. Oh my hey, god, I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> I'm here as you- Um, what else can we say? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brock. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Glitch. I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Jesus Christ, she's like fucking obsessed. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. Oh, I might hear about the drone again. Miss Grant. Really? Okay. You are. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Oh, is this what you mean? Wait. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? Why should he clear away another batch of dead birds today? Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Kate. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Mm. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. <laughs> you don't sound sad. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. Mm -hmm. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Yeah, what about the animals? I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they 
they just cry. Mm. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. This conversation is weird. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. <laughs> If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Do I get to keep talking? Can I take a picture? How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, well, I would like squirrel paparazzi? She keeps, like, making it seem like you can take a picture, but... Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I definitely have... Uh oh what do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Talking I keep about Rachel. That Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes, that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting, too. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. <laughs> That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. A and Max, I don't like it at all. He's so, like, spiritual and philosophical. I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Hello, hey, Max. Hello. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. No problem. That's what Hi, I was just going to say. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Uh, I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Beyond science. I think this is beyond science. Yeah. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. 
Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Oh, we're not. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. <laughs> so you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you... You might be the wisest. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Jesus Christ, like these conversations are long. Food. Lure. Okay. Now I can do it. Get that food in your belly. Now can they take a photo? No? Wait. There we go. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> okay. I wonder if we can go in here. Probably not. No. Whoops. Uh... Whew. Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Okay, I'm not laughing at the what it says. I was laughing at the picture. <laughs> and there's a dick down there. That that's me and what it says, but the picture. <laughs> that's what I get for helping Alyssa. The broken window. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you all right? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. What? I'm a wannabe artist. Whatever. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. 
Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. Yeah. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel <laughs> DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to me, he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People <laughs> here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Uh, what should I say? Screw the Vortex Club. They don't deserve you, Daniel. They don't deserve anything. I mean, what do they actually do for Blackwell, huh? You're right, Max. Screw them. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Alright. Now that we've, uh... talked for like 20 minutes... Let's get back to Chloe. I don't think there's anything else. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. She was probably <laughs> high. Yeah, she had the sick nugs. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park sometime. All right. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Okay. Finally. so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott <laughs> in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. In case you still need it, Nathan's room number is 111. Kate, you are so awesome. Thank you. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel. Trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise? Of course. I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Oh, Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. Jesus Christ. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. Oh, wait. <laughs> Apparently, Logan missed this Look poster. Look before you lust. Always use protection and secure your future. <laughs> oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. Can I... <laughs> okay. Who would steal cat pics? On September 15th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria. I don't care about the school books, but my tablet has a large picture file of my late cats. 
So I will pay a cash reward, no question asked. Please, these cats were my best friends. They have one more meeting left. Gamer guys. Cod to wow. Nice. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Is this Daniel's room? I'm assuming that's Daniel's room. Yeah. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Whoops. Keep doing that. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Hang on. I'm still looking. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. This just makes me think of Kate. If you're the victim of bullying, you're not alone. Come join a monthly support discussion group. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go ape. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. I hope Warren doesn't think that's too dorky. I mean, not like he isn't. He'll laugh, right? Are you made of copper and whatever? Because you're cute. Um, I feel like he's gonna get made fun of for that. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. I'm gonna- I'm not gonna leave that. I, I don't want him to get made fun of. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. This can only be Nathan's room. Ooh, here we go. Oh. What am I doing? Oh yeah, that's great. That's great, Max. <laughs> okay. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Holy oh, shit. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother defend, to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad, but she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce, even I get into shenanigans, but I am trying to be a good influ influence on Chloe. I know, Max, I forget you're still teenage adults. Chloe. Sorry I got in your face today and took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. I understand you're going through a lot. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Okay, that is your one get out of emoji free, jail free card. But we need to stock up on Seg's coffee and candy for an all-nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate's detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. Uh, I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries. I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole. We need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. <laughs> There's so much stuff to look at. 
whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Okay. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Uh, I feel very uneasy being in here. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way yeah, too much. What the much. fuck is going on? These films all have a dark pattern. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. That monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand. Bastard. Wait. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Jesus, <laughs> so this is is way into this party. Bad sign. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as stylish and expensive. I'm, I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious party, party favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's fucking, let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you and why Kate will get justice. Oh man, Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if you need be, if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you to calm and quiet while Panastase is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry a black don't worry about Blackwell. The whole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Little brother, it's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or my phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me that you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also a jingle halfway across the world because of him. In a jungle halfway across the world from him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into 
one just for the family legacy end of lecture you're at school so i just wanted to make sure i just wanted to make you feel at home back to the mangrove sending out good thoughts better right back or leave or i'll leave a jaguar sh i'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm yes nathan sure needs diet pills this is strong stuff okay uh am i missing something I can't, I don't exactly know what I'm doing. That must be everything. I mean, oh, what's this? Nathan Prescott, all American teen. Oregon's best boobs. <laughs> um, otherwise I don't really know. Scratch marks. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Couch. Move. Let's oh. find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine Oh yeah, I now. forgot we were looking for his phone. Okay. So that must be everything then. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to end that there for now, so I will see you in the next episode. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, my God. <laughs> Warren, damn. You are so fucking dead. Oh, shit. <gasps> Get off me, bro. Oh. oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Stop, 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 stop. Warren, stop it! Come on. 